as you guys know, or maybe you didn't know, it really does depend on how much you've been paying attention. I got married recently. I didn't make a big announcement on Instagram or YouTube about my engagement or anything like that. So I got asked so many times after I got engaged whether I was planning to make a YouTube video about my wedding or engagement or planning the wedding. And to be honest, I still haven't figured out the answer to that. So I guess the question that I have is how much should we share? Where is the line and should there even be a line? I see a lot of people on social media sharing things like how much money they make on YouTube and sharing photos of their holidays, cute photos of their kids, and even things like behind the scenes of their business. And I really do wonder how do they do it? Because I really do think it's really bold of them to share so much. I find it really hard to be open on social media. I feel like I'm really protective of myself and of my life. And part of that is due to the anxiety, which I talked about in a recent video. I feel like since the age of 18, I've been almost a bit paranoid that people are watching me and it really makes me overthink. So the idea of putting myself out there really does scare me. I also think my culture really encourages this idea of privacy. I mean, growing up, for example, you couldn't talk about boyfriends with anyone. And there's also this concept of the evil eye where people can give you bad energy when they kind of look at you, when you've got good things going on in your life. So you almost feel like you have to keep things hidden and you want to protect yourself from it. I've obviously overcome this in a huge way by having having a YouTube channel and I'm so glad that I did this because it really has helped me to grow as a person but just because I can sit down and film in front of a camera and then hit a publish button on YouTube it doesn't mean I find it any easier in fact I feel like now that I am online it's actually harder because before I had a YouTube channel I was just completely closed off I didn't need to think about the limit because I had one rule which was not to share anything on social media but now that I'm online I have to actually think what is my limit since the wedding I've really been debating do I make a video about the wedding? Do I share anything from the wedding, even just a picture? And I still haven't figured out what to do. I guess my worry is always, what's the difference between sharing and oversharing? What should be public and what should be kept private to just us? What's helpful to people and what isn't? And what's my intention when I do share these things? And this isn't even just on a public level. I feel like it's also on a much smaller scale as well. So for example, I've had some people say, why don't you create a private Instagram page and share your wedding photos on that? And the thing that I have with that is, well, if I did have a private Instagram page, who would I accept to follow me? Because I have a really, really small circle. It's literally me, my husband, our immediate families, a few cousins, and then our friends. And our friends are a really small group of people. So in my mind, I would just WhatsApp photos and videos to these people rather than having to set up an Instagram page just for doing that. In fact, if anything, I actually think sometimes I'm more comfortable sharing publicly to strangers, not knowing who's watching versus knowing that acquaintances and people that I sort of know are able to watch me because I feel like I don't know what sort of energy they have towards me, if you know what I mean. So I don't know if they're watching me with bad intentions and bad energy because at the end of the day, yes, there's a lot of good people in the world, but based on my experiences, not everyone you know will be happy for you. And I always try to surround myself with good energy and good people. But the problem with social media is you can't control that. You can't control what's the good energy and what's the bad energy. At the same time, I do wonder, is it fear holding me back? Am I so worried about getting bad energy from just a handful or a couple of handfuls of people that I'm stopping myself from getting good energy from other people? Because for example, I recently met up with some YouTubers that I've been talking to online for quite a while and I decided to show them my wedding photos and it was such a nice experience and they were actually so, so happy for me and you could tell how genuine that was. It was just really nice to share things with them and to see them get excited about it. And I feel like I was able to really build more of an authentic and real connection with them. And I guess even if I was to look at things from a social media perspective, some of the people that I follow on social media are the ones who are more open and relatable. And that's kind of what draws me to them. So for example, Ali Abdul, I don't really follow him for productivity content anymore because I'm not really into that as much as I used to be. I'm more into his content because he's just so open and so honest and relatable. So for example, him going on the toilet and sitting there for ages scrolling like everyone can relate to that i also follow this channel on youtube called the modern sings and i feel like again i don't really know why i follow them but i just like to watch them and i like how honest they are about their lives like i like how much they share and they've got such a cute little boy and i really enjoy watching that so i really do appreciate how you can have good energy for people when you watch them online and how you can feel drawn to people just because of how honest and open they are so i actually did receive my wedding video last week so it was a one to two minute 
highlights video. And the other thing is because I do YouTube now, which is creative work, I feel like I'm also a lot more appreciative of other people's work. So when I was watching this video, obviously I, I was really biased because it's my own wedding video and I got really, really emotional. But also I was really appreciative of the art that went into it and the creativity. So things like the music, the color grazing, composition, and all of those things. I really appreciate the art. And I always think that creatives and artists should get credit and recognition for their work. So there was this massive part of me when I received that video that wanted to stand on the rooftops and almost show off my videographer's work and say, look how amazing this is. This is insane. I also think that by doing that, you can also help with the exposure that those photographers and videographers get. And so it could really help them with their businesses. And I think that they deserve that. But oh, I just don't know, to be honest, I'm really, really struggling with this. I feel like, you know, my partner is so sacred to me. My family are so sacred to me and I just don't know what I want to share. A lot of people have said to me, you know, just share what you're comfortable with, but I just don't know what that is. I know I definitely want to share some things because I know in the past I've been a really closed off person and it's not always a good thing. Like I want people to be able to get to know the real me and I want to be able to be comfortable enough to be the real me. I really want to overcome that part of me that does find it really hard to be myself, including online. I'm not saying that I want to share every single detail in my life anyway, because I don't think anyone but my mom cares about what I eat for breakfast. But I do want to find the balance where I can share things that help me to build human connection because at the end of the day it's the things that we share that make us human like real human experience is what helps us to connect and that's what i really want in life like i want to be able to develop meaningful connections with people i mean when i was growing up i lost contact with one of my cousins and she had two twin boys and she was very very vocal about it on instagram and she shared so many photos of them and it meant that i was able to watch my nephews grow up and also reconnect with her and it's one of the best things that has ever happened to me i'm so so grateful that she was so open on instagram because if she wasn't we might never have built that connection back i really respect my cousin for being so open on social media because i feel like with kids especially i know i would be really really protective and really really private and it's amazing that she was able to be so honest and very open and share them with the world and by doing so she's managed to help so many other parents and it's just amazing to see so of course i really do appreciate the power that comes with being open on social media it's not just about showing off your life showing off your cute kids or your holiday pictures or anything like that people can sometimes see value in it and connect through it and I think that's what social media should be about. So yes, I know the advice that I've been getting is that I should share what I'm comfortable with, but I also know that what's in our comfort zone sometimes isn't where we should be. So if all of this, this need for privacy is based on my fears, is that something that I should overcome? Is that something that I should push myself out of my comfort zone to do? Ultimately, I do feel like I have a bit of a wall up in real life and on social media to be honest but it's really hard because i feel like i've been conditioned for so long to be this way i also know that part of the problem is that i am a massive overthinker so for example i recently shared a really really personal video about something that happened to me 10 years ago but i guess the difference with that video is i knew that might help people because i had seen similar videos which had helped me which is why that seemed almost easy to do. Whereas something like a wedding, I feel I feel like that can sometimes be seen as a little bit frivolous. I guess I want to have really clear intentions when it comes to social media, where I share things that could be helpful or valuable and just not be self-indulgent. I used to really wonder why people would make Facebook posts or Instagram posts about someone's birthday when that person wasn't even on Facebook or Instagram. I would always say, well, why would you just not message them directly? Why would you feel the need to make a post about it? I never really understood it. But then a couple of months ago, I was on YouTube and I randomly stumbled across this 30th birthday video and I watched it and I didn't know the person, but I really, really enjoyed the video. I laughed, I got tearful, I got very emotionally involved, even though that video had nothing to do with me. Because of that, it really made me realize how judgmental I was for judging other people for posting online. We can sometimes just post because it's fun and sometimes it is nice for strangers to come across it and see something so human because sometimes that is missing on social media. In real life, I've changed a lot. I no longer say things that I think people want to hear or try to be someone that I think others will like. I'm trying to be myself. And maybe with social media, I need to be the same. Maybe I need to stop overthinking. Uh, I need to stop thinking about whether it's gonna help someone, whether it's valuable and just post because I want to post. And I guess the trouble is, do I want to post? I think that's the hardest thing because I've never had to really think about these things before. Anyways, I feel like I've gone in complete circles about this and this might just be the most random YouTube video I've ever posted 
posted. But I really am interested to know what you guys think. Do you struggle with getting that balance right with how much to share on social media? And are you more comfortable sharing with strangers or acquaintances? I still haven't found the answers and it's something that I talk about with my husband, my family and my friends on quite a regular basis. I'm trying to really navigate what I want my online presence to look like. And more than anything, I really want to grow as a person. I'm just trying to figure out what I want that growth to look like. I'm actually thinking that I might include a picture of the wedding in the thumbnail or something like that, just to give myself a little nudge to see how I feel. If any of you guys have any thoughts or advice about any of this, please let me know in the comments down below. You can tell that I need the help. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do appreciate you being here.